Hey everyone, it's Raymond here at the UMI Performance Race Shop. I have a nice array of our trailing arm solutions on the table here, and we're gonna take a look at each one of them, go over some of the features, and help you decide what's best for your next project. We have a large number of control arms available for A, G, F and B body, and also the Ford Mustang. They're available in gloss black and UMI red, and can outfit your car with a number of solutions to make it ride how you want or perform how you want. Oftentimes when you're working on a muscle car, it has clapped out rubber bushings in it. The bushings are gone, the trailing arm can move around a lot. You get the G body shuffle like we talk about. So a whole host of problems with uh, worn out rubber bushings. So our entry level street performance bushing is actually polyurethane. So we own our own tooling and we buy the best uh, polyurethane on the market. As new formulations come out, we always use the latest formulation. All of our bushings are greasable, the polyurethane bushings. So uh, they come out in halves. So when the grease goes in, it actually goes in a channel and then out these flutes to lubricate the face of the bushing. So squeaking uh, basically doesn't happen if you follow the instructions properly. So the polyurethane is our entry level. It's about a three out of 10 on the performance scale, but also a three out of 10 on the comfort scale if you talk about rubber as number one. So still pretty soft, the car can move it around quite a bit. It just makes for a nice ride. We actually use a polyurethane on our stage two power tour packages. So basically they can go coast to coast in quiet comfort. Um, middle performance and middle NVH, noise, vibration, harshness, is the roto joint. So the roto joint has kind of a racing pedigree. Um, it works like a rod end or a heim joint as they're called, uh, lubricating again right here with the grease fitting. The roto joint is basically race car with a little bit of cushioning. So when we build a pro touring car like the UMI Green Machine or the UMI Le Mans, oftentimes we use the, the roto joint to have a little bit of street ability, but um, you know, really high performance. So then that's like a seven out of 10. 10 out of 10 on the harshness scale and on the performance scale is the rod end or heim joint. So the rod end swivels super easily uh, able to be lubricated with uh, TriFlow or Sinco Super Lube like we sell, WD-40, something like that. You're gonna wanna put uh, a little light spray on it and give it a wipe off so it doesn't attract dirt. But basically this is race car components. So um, a lot of our Ultimate Arms have, have this uh, rod end in it and um, basically they're race car parts. Tiny bit of cushioning from the Teflon liner, but mostly race car articulation and the penalty is a little bit of noise on the street. Uh, still plenty of street cars run these, um, but it's just not, not quite as quiet as the roto joint or the poly bushing. So uh, our base product, like used in the stage two power tour kits, uh, have a tubular construction, so tubular shape. Uh, plenty strong, able to handle anything you can throw at them tubular. Then we have inch and a half by two. This has a little bit more of a stock look to it. Uh, still plenty strong, able to handle anything, but the inch and a half by two uh, almost looks square, but it, you know, it's, it's slightly rectangular. Um, quite, quite a popular option. Then the heavy duty option is inch and a half by three. So uh, this thing's kind of like a battleship. Uh, I don't know that you could ever, ever hurt something like this. A lot of guys with Resto Mod Chevelles uh, like this appearance. Really the strength is great on any of the UMI products. We don't really have a, a horsepower limitation. So you can choose based on the function or uh, the, the appearance that you like on your product. So on the UMI lower arms, we have three different styles. Uh, one is non-adjustable, just how it sounds. Um, it's fixed length, exact factory location. So if your car's in good shape, hasn't been wrecked, the thrust angle's correct, wheelbase is correct, you can use the, the non-adjustable. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite styles from an engineering standpoint. 
uh, single adjustable. So this is actually off car adjustable, or you could say leave one end in and drop one end down. When you turn the rod in, you can get a tiny bit of adjustability uh, without paying for the, the double adjustable that we'll talk about next. But basically it's nice and simple, able to get a little bit of adjustment. This one has a rod end in it and uh, we can use it for if your car has been tweaked a little bit, something like that, the single adjustable is a great choice. The race car parts are what we call double adjustable in most cases. Uh, we have a couple different styles of adjusters. This has a rod end on each end, a left and a right. So once it's on the car, if you loosen the jam nuts, you can turn the center sleeve and you end up changing the length of the trailing arm. So this is most of our race car products have the, the double adjustability. So we have non, single, and double. Rear upper trailing arms, we have our base model, non-adjustable, poly end, uh, exact center to center fixed length. Once again, if your car is in great shape, you can remove the rusted out terrible arm put the nice brand new shiny high performance UMI arm in its place. This is a neat one here, uh, same thing except for roto joint. So once again, if your car is in good shape, the, the rear alignment is doing okay, but you want just a little bit more articulation, uh, you can use the, the roto joint end. It makes it a nice and smooth transition and just really works good in a pro touring style car. Then we move on to adjustable. So uh, the trailing arms, rear upper trailing arms are double adjustable. Uh, we don't make a single one, single adjustable, be a little bit too much work to be up in there messing around. So they're double adjustable. This example is poly. So we use this for a street car when we, we want to adjust pinion angle or lateral location of the axle. So if you look in the description on the YouTube video, you can see a video we did a little while back that shows how the upper trailing arm influences the pinion angle and the lateral location of the axle. So this one is poly, uh, nice and comfortable for the street. So if you're dramatically raising and lowering your car, changing the drivetrain, something like that, but you still want it super comfortable, you can use this type of arm to change that pinion angle lateral location and still have the super good comfort. This is actually our ultimate arm that we use for racing applications. Uh, same axle clamp, but it has the rod end on it. Still double adjustable, still able to change the pinion angle, and still able to change the lateral location. We use this on drag cars, road race cars. I think the UMI Le Mans has these in it now. Uh, basically just good, high quality, made in USA, heavy duty race car parts for your muscle car. So as you can see, we have a myriad of options to outfit your muscle car with UMI components. Uh, this tends to be the street over towards the race and street over towards the race. You can also check the website for more technical details about the products. Uh, there's a lot of uh, answers to your questions on the web. If you have uh, any more questions after that, you can give us a message at support at umiperformance.com.